Hi, I'm Brian House with Mike Holt Enterprises, and we're here for another great night of Q&A. Now, uh, number one, I get really excited when I talk about technology stuff. Some of you guys made some comments, and I made some comments, and I kind of forget that maybe sometimes things don't come across the way I feel. And so I want to answer some of the questions that came up. I got, first of all, a lot of emails, people requesting the PowerPoint. Uh, you'll see at the end of last week's video, uh, if you watch it, I'll give you the opportunity to send me an email and I'll send you a link to download the PowerPoint presentation. There's lots of information on that. So if you don't know what we're talking about, you might want to hit pause, jump back to last week's video, and then just come back and watch this whenever you have time. We're just going to answer a few questions. Now, this question kind of caught me off guard, to be honest with you. Um, I'm an electrical contractor, I'm an electrician, I've been doing this my whole life and I realized after talking with Mike, hey, you got so excited talking about power over ethernet, it kind of sounded like the end of the electrical line voltage era. That couldn't be further from the truth. So one of the comments that came in is, hey, do I have at least 50 years to run a line voltage company before POE takes over the industry or should I quit now? So. I just want to clarify something that I didn't probably do a really good job of last week, and that is, number one, POE will never replace line voltage. Um, and we'll get to a few questions later that'll maybe clarify a little bit about that. My excitement is more about adopting what is new in our industry. And much like everybody was worried uh, many years ago about what the what was going to put what out of job or who, and, and, and specifically I'm thinking about automation. You know, as factories have become automated, people have actually not lost jobs. In fact, it's created more jobs. There's tens of thousands of professionals that do nothing but maintain the equipment that produces the volume of goods that we consume. We're an ever-expanding culture. We are a culture of consumers. And POE, like many other technologies, is going to be what changes not fundamentally how things occur, but in fact how we utilize our day-to-day -day life and our day-to-day -day equipment. And so my excitement about this, I'm one of these kind of people that I'm always wanting to research and I want to look for the next best thing and I try to stay two steps ahead of the industry. You might be somebody that's like, hey, I'm busy, I'm tired. I have a business to run. I'm not interested in all this stuff right now. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You don't have to chase POE. When the technology becomes ready in the market, and we've seen this with many things. Uh, we could look at wiring methods, MC cable, for instance, right? MC cable wasn't. It came to the market. It was new. Nobody used it. Now it's a big deal. We've seen this with uh, computers. We've seen this with smartphones. What's going to happen is these types of things just kind of ramp up and at some point in time, it's going to basically come knock on your door. You're not going to have to go hunt it down. What I want to do and, and what my hope is, is that you'll take the information that I'm presenting and you'll use that just maybe even just in the back of your head as a tickler so that when somebody knocks on the door, you're like, you know what? I actually watched a presentation on that. Not only do I know what it is, but I know a little bit about it. And I am or I'm not interested. And, and most importantly, you're not caught off guard like, oh, POE? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We, we really want to make sure that we're just at least aware of what's going on. So do you have at least five years, 50 years to run a line voltage company before POE takes over the industry? Um, I have no idea. I mean, for all I know, we're going to have nuclear receptacles. We always laugh uh, when Eric's on the videos with us and we talk about wireless receptacles. Uh, you don't need any wiring. Um, but in all seriousness, uh, of course you have 50 years. Uh, there's nothing on the technology front that I'm aware of that's going to be replacing line voltage anytime soon. And here's one example. Another question came in. Could PoE create a three-phase VFD circuit with a bunch of parallel CAT6 runs to the motor? Now, I have to say, that's a really cool idea. However, the sheer power requirements of large motors would preclude this from happening. I mean, I'm not saying that there's not some sort of motors somewhere, somehow, that you could maybe run off of a POE. In fact, I, I believe one of the things that I found when I was doing my research was a little PO, POE desk fan. But it's a little tiny guy that just blows a little bit of air. It's, it's nothing real special. Um, commercial, 
electrical in general is not going to change. For the foreseeable future, obviously, the size of a service on a building is not going to change because the NEC doesn't recognize that PoE circuits are going to replace anything. But, but they are adding rules and requirements in the NEC to govern PoE, which is kind of good for us, actually, as an industry, because this is actually something we're already doing. We've been pulling data cables. We've been put, putting in pipe and wire for decades, if, if not a century at this point. Uh, maybe more. This is nothing new. This is the same old thing in a new way. It's a new technology. And I would encourage you to go back and, and listen to what I talked about last week about what a disruptive technology is and how important it is that we are aware of technologies that might disrupt the system and that we're ready. We just don't want to be caught off guard. Um, here's another comment, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, uh, but this is a guy who says, actually, I find this rather exciting. This is a new technology to jump into with both feet and has low to no demands in training, certification, licensing, retooling, and so on. I have little fear of losing work to DIYers because if I learned anything in the last four decades of being a contractor, it's that people will do things themselves only if they don't if they can't afford it. Otherwise, they'll pay someone else to do it for them because they know typically they don't have the tools, the fundamental eye-hand coordination, skill level, etc. Here's what I'll tell you. He's absolutely right. Um, over the years as a contractor, I cannot tell you how many times I've had people ask if we could put a shelf up while we're at a job site. Not because they can't do it, just because we're there and we have the tools and we have the know-how. I don't see this taking work away from our industry. What I see it doing is shifting work from one part of what we do to a different part of what we do. And I would just encourage you to be aware of it um, and, and just be knowledgeable about it. And when the time comes again, it's going to come knocking on your door. It's nothing that you have to go searching for. But if you're like, uh, what is this, old hog leg here, uh, and you find it exciting, you find it fun, maybe you might want to look into this. And here's the deal. You're going to probably learn a lot of things about it that I don't know. A couple of guys are like, hey, do you know a good course? I don't. Do you have a course? We don't. Matter of fact, what you saw last week and what we're talking about now is the extent of what we cover, which should give you a good indicator of how young this technology is for the NEC and for our industry. It's changing something to be aware of, but not something that you have to worry about replacing you. I love this comment from Anthony. Anthony said, hey, don't let them IT guys fool you. It's not that hard. And I was very encouraged by the number of electrical contractors that said, hey, we've actually been doing this for three or four years, and we do it along with all the rest of the work. It's not that difficult, and guys shouldn't be scared to get into it. It's a lot easier than it sounds. And so, Anthony, thank you for posting that comment because, quite frankly, that's really important to... It's just like anything else. When you wire your first house, it's kind of scary. When you wire your second house, it's a little less scary. And as time goes on, it just becomes old hat. Power over Ethernet is not something that's any different. Mm -hmm.